reimbursement for everything that is picked up uh, that's in the city right away. Uh, so we are encouraging everyone to move their debris to the city right away. Uh, and we come by with trucks uh, from a contractor that we have hired to, um, to pick that up. Uh, that goes to the landfill. At this point, there's probably no way to really separate it effectively. Mm -hmm. And I should probably back up and say, uh, to me, it is apparent that FEMA's one of FEMA's number one goal is to be as to, to make this process as quick as possible. Um, I think that they are putting a, a real high value on moving quickly, um, just to get the disaster recovery started, kind of like a started. Sure which ultimately helps people right. get back on the field. And when you say uh, local landfill, is this Oklahoma City or is this the city of Moore? Yes. Hey, oh. Oh, I'm yep. sorry. I'm what? sorry. I, I had a couple of questions from my citizens. From citizens. Oh, okay. Can you take that now or would it be better? As far as I'm concerned, go ahead. I, uh, I, can, I can wait. Or okay. Maybe I can find it from Stan or somebody else. Right. Somebody said just saw you on I had it. Somehow I had a feeling that would happen. Okay. Wanted to know, <laughs> can, can they put fence out by the street? That's one question. Anything that is debris from the tornado. Okay. So they okay. do that. And then as far as <clears throat> people coming in to help, can they bring a trailer? Or they got to be registered or something? No. Uh, <coughs> just, they're good. They're good. They're good. Those were easy questions. Um, uh, I was going to ask the same question about what landfill you're using. It's the South. I, uh, we normally use the South Bryant landfill, uh, and I would assume that it would be the same. Is that in city limits? Uh, that's or in Oklahoma City Oklahoma city, city limits. Okay. Yeah. Do they? Is it? Uh, maybe a silly question, but is it large enough to take all the what's coming? Uh, I believe it is. Okay. Uh, FEMA had mentioned that they had already spoken with the landfill. Oh, okay. Um, management and that they didn't seem to think it would be a problem. Okay. Is it, uh, do you know the number out there or is it private or does Oklahoma City run it or any no, idea? No, actually, I don't know much about landfills, I'll be oh, honest. Okay. <laughs> it's just south, south of Bryant. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, to get it clear, you, there is no, you're encouraging out, you said that take advantage of the three day weekend, you know, do it, you know, right. as expediently, uh, but there's no hard and fast, hey, if not, this doesn't not, happen, no. we're going to bring the bulldozers in? And, not okay. not yet. Okay. Um, we want to give people as much time as we possibly can okay. to allow them to go through their belongings and say their goodbyes because we do know it's very emotional. Okay. And we certainly want to be respectful of that. Um, at some point in the future, and we don't know exactly when that point is, we will have to start other forms of encouragement for these for for some people to to begin the process of cleaning everything up. What do um, those include? Well, I think it will include um, touching base with each property owner to find out what their plans are, and sometimes you're going to have problems with insurance. It's going to hold up uh, some okay. some people, okay. and we I mean these things are going to come up. And we know that. So uh, really, we just work through those issues as they come. Um, um, so no hard and fast uh, deal. And then is there a, um, you, you said the contractor uh, was going to make three passes? Uh, about they, three passes on the? They will make multiple passes. Okay. Multiple. Do you know who the contractor is? It, I believe it is Silver Star Construction. Where are they out of? They are out of Moore, Oklahoma. Oh, local. Yeah, they, they, they work with the city a lot. Okay. Uh, can I back you up sure. a little bit? Um, first of all, what's your name and how do you spell it? Uh, Elizabeth Jones. Elizabeth, and I apologize. No, I, you're I just fine. didn't catch it. I was standing back there in the back, and, and it was... It was hard to. Catch I it. understand. Uh, what's your title uh, Com with the city? Community Development Director. Community Development Director. How long have you been here? Um, I have been employed with the city since 2000, so I've been here for 13 years. You live here in the city? I do not. Okay. 
Um, you, you know anybody personally who uh, lost their house or anything? Uh, some of our employees have had their homes heavily damaged, and whether or not they're going to be a total loss, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Um, but yeah, we have several employees who. Okay. Um, this is effective. <coughs> is, this is my, you know, if you talk to them, uh, if they're willing to talk to a reporter. Oh, sure, sure. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the city gets reimbursed for anything that's picked up in the city right of way. That, that's what FEMA has, has told you. Right, do. right. And there's okay. a percentage of reimbursement. It's sort of a sliding, it's kind of a formula. Uh, but we will get um, the majority of the cost reimbursed. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and first of all, what, what's the right of way? The right of way is, um, well, basically it's the, it's the street right of way. So mm -hmm. it's going to include, it's public property that includes the actual roadway and then usually about um, 12 feet on either side of the roadway that will include all of the public utilities like water lines, um, you know, any sort sure. of utility lines. Okay, yeah, and I was trying to clarify that because I was trying to figure out if you want people to push stuff into the street well, or up by no, the Well, no, I probably should have said that. I'm sure we'll no, get a lot of people. You're, you're okay. But, yes, I mean, just uh, push it out by the curb. Push it out to the curb. Close the curb as yeah. you Yeah. Like where you put your recycling and your trash bin. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And, uh... Kind of, kind of. I don't know if you can answer this or not, but let's say that uh, the city spends a hundred bucks picking up the stuff that I push out mm -hmm. uh, uh, to the curb in front of my house. Do you know how much? What percentage of that hundred bucks you're going to get back from FEMA? Yeah. Um, I don't know exactly. Okay. Um, some of it's by the by the ton. Uh huh. Okay. Um, and then some of it is, uh, you know, a, a timing issue. You know, so we get reimbursed and this is the thing where I said